As the weather gets colder, birds start heading south for winter. The ducks and geese fly thousands of miles, often to very specific places. So when birds migrate, how do they know where to go? Good question. John Lordson went and talked to an expert to figure this all out. I think a lot of people are interested in this, John. They are, Freak. Yeah, the peregrine falcon, which is made to come back here in the Midwest, migrates from Minnesota to the very southern tip of South America, thousands of miles, and they do it without a map or GPS. Or at least, that's how it seems. Any idea how they know where to go? I have no idea. We can rely on a map or a compass or even a GPS with a robotic monotone voice to tell us where to go. I left on I-35 e North. Birds have to rely on something else. How do birds know where to fly? Um, I'm guessing by the wind. They're missing out on some really nice winters though when they do this, aren't they? Uh, no. No? No. Migration is it's a huge topic, but it's it's fascinating. It is really fascinating. Dr. Julie Ponder is with the Raptor Center at the University of Minnesota. There's no built-in GPS here that they have. They can't type well, it. Well, they do actually have a built-in ability to navigate. Dr. Yes, Ponder so. says different species of birds have different ways of navigating, but all migrating birds over time develop a mental map allowing them to follow waterways and landmarks. The sun and stars also help. Some species are diurnal migrants and they actually navigate by the sun. Other species migrate at night and they navigate by stars, some of them. Peregrine falcons need the sun's thermal energy to help them migrate more than 6,000 miles south from Minnesota to Argentina. For some species, there's another force involved. They have an ability to sense the magnetic field, and actually some birds are thought to be able to actually see magnetic fields. Some birds, like pigeons, actually have magnetic mineral in their brains, which allows them to fly towards the Earth's north and south magnetic poles. Ducks and geese mostly fly to southeastern states. It'd be kind of fun to do that, right? Leave Minnesota for the winter, come back in the spring? Yeah. I can like get that. used to that. Yeah. Migration is all about food which some species can't find much of during a Minnesota winter. But there's a reason they always come back. Why come back up here at all? Because if they come back up here, they have a longer day for feeding their young, so it makes reproduction better. Yeah, Dr. Ponder says those long Minnesota days during our warm weather months allow geese to bring back a lot of food for their young. Some bird species don't leave during the winter, and that's because they have food here, so they stick around, which all kind of makes sense in the long run. And we're in the heart of the migration season right now, and actually some bird species actually start moving south in August. Hmm. It kind of goes through November, and then some uh, come back as early as March. And you'll see in the springtime, obviously, all the birds coming back in the springtime, but that, that can actually start in March for some species. The ones that came back in March last year were really disappointed. They really were, yeah, The yes, smart yes. ones waited until It's like a gamble April, right? every year. Yeah.